Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to a new video. It's 9 a.m. on Thursday today. I just got to the Mecca. I'm actually up in my old neighborhood today. I came to get my brows done. Here's a little before. I know it's kind of hard to see. I had a girl up here who I loved when she did my brows. I tried going to someone else who was in my new neighborhood for my brows when everything reopened this year and she did an okay job. Like she did a good job. I just, I don't know, I felt like I missed my old brows. So I've been growing them out. I haven't touched them since then and I made an appointment to come up here today and Jackie's actually working at the place where I go for my brows which is called Lack and Beauty. So Jackie just started a job there like a couple of weeks ago and she was working this morning at the same time as my brow appointment. So we decided to come for coffee beforehand just so we could see each other for a little bit because I haven't seen her since she started working. I'm going to uh, put my order in. I was contemplating getting a coffee but I've just been, I haven't been drinking coffee at all for the last little while because work's been really stressful and I don't need like the added stress of the caffeine. So I've just been drinking tea like non-stop and I was thinking since I was here at Starbucks I would get a coffee but I'm feeling like no I'm definitely I'm definitely still in tea mode. Okay, brows are officially done. So you guys, I see Estelle at Lack and Beauty and she's incredible. So the biggest difference I find between like the brows that she gives me and like the brows I had last time, for example, is she just leaves them like a little bit messier. They're not as neat, they're not as manicured. She doesn't trim them as much. She literally only trims like a little bit on the outside. She leaves all of this really long. And uh, yeah, they're just, they're just a bit fuller and she rocks them every time and she just makes me very happy with my eyebrows. So if you're in the city and you want someone like amazing to do your brows, Estelle at Lack and Beauty, it's on uh, Davenport. Next up in my lovely little day that I'm having here, I'm gonna go to Sephora. I ordered a bunch of stuff for my kit yesterday and one thing that I need is eyeshadow primer and I didn't need enough things from Sephora to get free shipping. So I'm gonna go quickly run into a Sephora, pick up my eyeshadow primer and then I'm gonna go to the gym. So I'm actually gonna go to the gym, my old gym, close to my old house. I used to love my gym, like my old gym was so nice. So because I'm up here, I'm gonna go and do my workout there. I'm looking forward to it, although I'm feeling a bit lazy, but I'm sure once I get there, I'll be all good. I'm gonna like take my time and get really into it because my other workout this week got kind of ruined by my bike accident. I just really couldn't concentrate on my workout at all, so. Today is gonna be nice and chill and I'm gonna get like super into it, which is gonna be great. That was actually so good. I had such a good workout, which I didn't think I was going to because I forgot my headphones and I was so looking forward to just like being in my zone, like not thinking about anything, just thinking about my workout, listening to my music, doing my thing. And then I also forgot bobby pins for my hair, which is just like so annoying while I'm trying to work out. So I just kept them like push to the side, but it ended up being such a good workout. I feel like I was, because I didn't have music, I was just really focused on feeling the contraction in my muscles and like the actual exercise as opposed to like focusing on my music and like going through the motions, I guess. And I had such a good workout. I did an upper body workout. I love that gym. It's so nice and big and bright and they got a bunch of new equipment in there. So yeah, that was, amazing i'm so happy i did it i was like going back and forth on whether or not i wanted to i'm so glad i did it so i'm gonna head home now and i'm gonna go and get my nails done so these ones lasted me two weeks and then this one came off yesterday so i'm gonna go get them what color should i do i never know so i got blue one of the fall trends this year is primary colors, so I wanted to pick 
like the most primary blue that they had. I think I did pretty well. I like them a lot. I also ended up getting a pedicure. So I got my little toesies done. I just got white. I feel like I haven't had white on my toes in so long. It just looks so good and it's so summery and it's kind of the last chance. Am I having the best day ever or what? I'm having like the most me day. I'm loving it. It's 8 a.m. on Friday. I'm at Hockley Valley Ski Resort. It's like an hour northwest of the city. I'm here for a wedding this morning. I'm um, early. I left quite early because I wasn't sure. I've never been out here before, so I just wanted to have time to get lost, basically. That was one of the most beautiful drives I feel like I've ever done. I feel like the last month I've been driving around Ontario to a lot of different places that I've never been before and I've been seeing some of the most beautiful Places I have ever seen since I got off the highway. It was like orchards and rolling hills and farmland and old beautiful farmhouses and then Massive brand new estates with like gates and full-size basketball courts and stuff. It was just like It was so beautiful and the Sun coming up. Oh my gosh. What a dream. I have no idea where to go, but I feel like even if I go searching right now, I'm still gonna be too early. So I'm just gonna hang out in the car for like 10 minutes and then I'm gonna go and try and find my way to this wedding. Saturday, we're at Arvo. We had such a sleep in today. I had to go in and wake Will up at 11.30 because I was starving and I needed to eat. We have a really fun day planned, so we're just taking a brief breakfast interlude and then we're gonna go and hit up some furniture shops. We're gonna do some furniture shopping today. This is a decaf coffee, by the way. On the hunt for a little filing cabinet slash storage situation for Will for his office. He didn't like any of the stuff at Ikea and we had seen that little filing cabinet at Structube online. So we went to go see it in person. I think that's probably gonna be the one. There's a ton of furniture stores around Queen and Bathurst. So we're just gonna head there now and look for, I don't know, if there's anything else. I'm also kind of looking for storage for my den area, but I'm so undecided about what I want to put in there, so we'll see what happens. much later in the day I just did a quick run to the grocery store to grab a couple things for dinner we had a really nice morning just shopping around we ended up ordering that little filing cabinet from Structube online so it should be coming hopefully pretty soon we were gonna go get Will's desk from Ikea today but it's still sold out so I put in my information for them to email me when it comes back in I'm gonna make some quinoa wraps for dinner so they have quinoa obviously 
like sun-dried tomatoes, celery, and then this like garlicky cashew cheese sauce mixed in with everything, and broccoli. They're really yummy, super filling, and like healthy, and yeah, delish. Do you want any wine? Also, I'm having a little glass of wine, whatever's left in here. This is the wine that I got in my Bev try this week. So it's Colio Cellar Door Series Cabernet Sauvignon. Me and Will both really, really liked this, like a lot. I used to be like a white wine lover. That was how I first started drinking wine was white wine. And then I started getting the worst hangovers anytime I drank any wine. So I switched to red wine and I find that that makes a huge difference for me when it comes to like dying the next day. And I really do not like sweet wines. So this one says it's a full body Cabernet Sauvignon which is rich and juicy with dark fruit notes of black currants and plums and a hint of oak. Pairs well with rib steak or barbecue. It's not super tanniny, like it doesn't have a lot of, you know, like that <laughs> feeling that red wine can give you it doesn't have a lot of that it's like really rich and yummy and not too sweet not too like overpoweringly flavorful with any particular flavor and i both really liked it finally raining we've been in a heat wave here for so long like 40 degree days we finally have rain it's so nice out there Okay, so I have my veggies going in here with the sun-dried tomato, garlic, onion, celery, broccoli, and then I have my quinoa over here all ready to go. So first I'm gonna add the quinoa to the veggies. And then in here I have my little cashew cheese mix. I'm gonna add that in as well. And this is what it ends up looking like and then I have some wraps so you're gonna fill the wraps with the filling and that's what we're gonna have for dinner and I'm very excited it's gonna be so good we have an episode of Big Brother to watch so I think we're gonna put that on and we're also watching the marvelous Mrs. Maisel on Amazon Prime right now I feel like we're really late to the party. There's already three seasons of it out, but it is so good. The filmmaking on it is so good. It's by the same people who made Gilmore Girls, and it's just, like, so entertaining and such a good show. So if uh, Will doesn't have to go back to work, then we'll put that on, too. But I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up so more people can see it, too. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. Why aren't you subscribed? And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.